13 WMAC weather sponsored by Premier Heating and Air. Well, the rain continues to come down this morning, seven minutes after six across central Georgia temperatures. This is where things are kind of interesting. 50s to the north and mid 60s down to the south. 63 in Cordille and in Rochelle, indicative of the stationary front we have in place at the moment. Here's a look at the radar and what's going on right now. The first thing that jumps out at me is this flash flood warning that's in effect through Monroe County, Bibb at Northern Houston County, parts of Twiggs County. Several issues on the roadways going on right now. We've gotten reports of up to three feet of water on Interstate 16. Also an accident in Twiggs County on Interstate 16. Now this flash flood warning going to remain in effect until 1130 this morning because we have already picked up two to three inches of rain with an additional one to two inches of rain to come down to the south. We've got the heaviest of the stuff in the parts of Taylor and Macon County uh, beginning to get into Dooley County as well over towards Cochrane in the Cadwell area. The heaviest in central Georgia right now. You're going to find that in parts of Emanuel County, Johnson and Trutland counties as all of this continues to just meander down to the south and where the location of the heaviest rain for us is important because what you see back off to the west, this red shading here is a tornado watch, a severe weather threat that's going to be in play today for parts of south central Alabama. We're watching to see how that translates into Georgia. My thinking right now is we have a greater flash flood threat with what we're seeing given the fact that we're seeing the line of heavier rain already south of Macon uh, towards Warner Robins and Perry in that area. So we're watching for that here through the morning hours. A live look at downtown. Obviously the roads are very wet. It took me almost twice as long to get to work this morning as it usually does and that was with no traffic at three in the morning. So you know, allow extra time out there on the roadways. 58 the current number. I do expect to get into the 60s this afternoon with some of these showers continuing into the afternoon hours. Here's this level two threat, but again, like I said, I'm more concerned about the flash flood threat this morning than I am the severe weather threat. Anything we do see would be very low end across central Georgia today. So let's time it out on future view. You can see what it's thinking around 7 a.m. is kind of what our radar looks like right now. So I would uh, pick it up here and run with it and see what it's showing us. And if this plays out, as you see here on the map, we're not going to see severe weather because the heaviest of the stuff would be down to the south. The heaviest of the rain that is with uh, the moderate rainfall continuing for us in central Georgia. Again, if that is the case, I'm watching for this flash flood threat to continue. Anything we do see will begin to clear out later this afternoon. Maybe a storm or two behind the heaviest of the rainfall before we begin to see some peaks of clear sky as we get into the overnight hours. Now, Again, the rainfall is going to continue to add up. We've already picked up two to three inches of rain. We could add uh, maybe not quite as much as you see here because at this point, future is picking up on some of what's already fallen, but I'll say an additional one to two, two and a half inches of rain will be possible across central Georgia. And because of that, the National Weather Service does have this flood watch in effect through this evening. If you come across standing water on the roadways, please do not drive through it because it does not take a whole lot to move your car. And of course, uh, don't want that happening. Yesterday made it to 67. Average high is 63. Before we hit the midnight hour, we picked up 1.38 inches of rain over there at Middle Georgia Regional Airport. We'll get down near 40 tonight after all of the rain clears out. Tomorrow, get closer to 60. And then for Wednesday morning, a couple degrees cooler. We'll say closer to the freezing mark, actually, before we get into the mid-60s with plenty of sun for Wednesday afternoon. All right, here's your seven-day forecast. 60 for tomorrow, 64 for Wednesday. That is Valentine's Day. Clearing out for the middle part of the week before yet another rain chance is in the picture. That's going to be at 30 percent for Saturday and Sunday. High temperatures slightly below average.